It has been said by numerous tech influencers and tech vloggers, the quickest, most effective way to improve your gaming performance is to put in the proper drive to support your gaming system. And that is exactly what I am testing in this video to show you that yes, it is worthwhile to get an NVMe, make sure it's your OS drive and to put your games on top of it. I am the Grain Tech, a gaming insider. And today we're talking about hard drives, NVMe drives, and the gaming performance that you're gonna get out of those. I ran several different benchmarks. One of the biggest one here is the Crystal Disk Mark tool. Now you're going to see this in pretty much every review of a hard drive that is out there. Here is how I ran mine. I did five runs. I used the real world performance mix and I made sure that I turned on the NVMe option for the NVMe drives turned off. In other words, default for the hard drives. All the test data is also random that ensures as even of a real world performance evaluation as I could possibly get for you. First item of business, because Project 7 is an Intel based system, it has an 11th generation Intel Core i7 running on a Z490 motherboard, the previous generation of chipsets. What I noticed inside of the BIOS was a very peculiar setting that MSI has set to PCH. And this one setting is responsible for determining how your primary M.2 slot communicates with your system. If this value is set to PCH, it is going to contact the chip on the motherboard and then get communicated to your CPU. If it's set to CPU as PCI Gen 4 should be, if it is set to CPU, the top M.2 slot in your motherboard will communicate directly to the processor if you have an 11th generation Intel processor. This one change was responsible for this delta in my numbers. You can see higher sequential and random reads. You can see lower differentiations. All of the data shows that enabling this one feature is going to get you better performance overall. But does this actually turn into gaming performance between the same drive? This is all the same Sambrant Rocket 4 Generation 4. Well, I ran several tests of this. This right here is Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal, when set to PCH mode, I'm taking out the portion where I had to interact with the menu and some of the, the animations that occur in the very beginning, but the actual load interaction time was 27 seconds. Compare that to the CPU enabled option. Again, this is going to be the option that you really want for good performance that loaded in 20 seconds. So taking all of the other variables out of the equation, changing that one bio setting enabled me to load a game seven seconds faster, even with a very, very fast drive supporting the workload. Because of this, I kept this setting on, and this is going to be the PCI Gen 4 that you're gonna see throughout the rest of the benchmarks. Now here are the raw performance numbers themselves. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see the same Rocket 4 with the CPU option enabled, that's the Gen 4 support. I have a Generation 3, NVMe installed into the M.2 number two slot. That's connecting over PCH. That's the chip on the motherboard. That drive is from Toshiba. I have two hard drives installed as well. I have a Seagate four terabyte, 5,700 RPM with 64 megs of cache. And I have an HGST 7,200 with 32 megs of cache. Now you can see and, and pretty much expect these results on the top. PCI Gen 4, Rocket 4 is faster than the Toshiba. The Seagate has a slower RPM than the HGST, but higher cache. But the Seagate outperformed the HGST because of that cache. The cache mechanism there allows you to gain information and store it for more sustained performance 
the larger the cache, the less dependency you are on the actual physical spindle and its speed. So because the Seagate, even though it's turning slower, has more cache, it was able to store information faster and deliver it in a more steady state, thus resulting in better numbers. The 7200 RPM drive, because it has a lower cache, was not able to keep up with that other hard drive. Now here's the other question, and a lot of people have asked and pointed this out in comments. Does it matter? Does it actually impact your gaming performance? Well, there's only one real way to test that. Here are the actual load times for three games. Across the board, we can certainly see the Rocket 4 outperformed everything else. The Seagate was the best of the hard drives. The HDST fell behind in every single load element. The Gen 3 Toshiba drive certainly, certainly was an improvement. And that's ultimately the bottom line for me. NVMe is certainly a far superior storage methodology for not only your operating system, but also where you store your games. So in this instance, absolutely it proves true. Having a fast drive is going to give you a better gaming experience.
I am The Graying Tech, a gaming insider. If you are into performance gaming PC content like this, check out another one of my videos right there. Or maybe hop over to my motorcycle channel where I do ride-alongs, 360s, and reviews.